A lot of people have been trialed and are facing problems and hardships uh, with with uh, pornography. Uh, and and some of the questions would say that it's affecting my seeking knowledge, it's affecting me seeking knowledge, it's affecting me reciting or memorizing the Quran and, and such. So the Sheikh, inshallah, he will give an advice to, to these questions. Fadha, Sheikh Namajur. هذا جواب مختصر أسأل الله تعالى ينفع به. With regards to pornography and the effect of pornography on oneself and on his acts of worship and seeking knowledge, perhaps there was a couple of questions that were like that. First of all, the Sheikh, of course, gave a very beautiful and very important introduction, which is you are a slave and a submitter to Allah Azza wa Jalla. Your religion, your Islam, your submission to Allah is not only your five pillars or not only when you are in public in front of the people. No, it's in public and in private. It's in your actions, in your sayings, in your doings, in your heart, in everything. Islam and your submission to Allah is there and has to be maintained. And subhanAllah, he said, the manners is from aqidah. Because when you are in private and you maintain your manners, and your good, you know, your good manners and your good acts, even in private, when nobody's seeing you, what does that mean? That means you believe that Allah has all seen and Allah sees you and you submit to Allah. So you are actually confirming some of the main matters of aqidah, which is one of the, the, the attributes of Allah. So yes, indeed, I understand what the Shaykh is saying is that manners are also from aqidah. Then, of course, he, uh, he, he moved on to looking at haram. He says that you will be asked about this. Your eyes and your fingers and your mouth and your brain, every single organ of your body will be witness against you or for you in the day of judgment. And Allah, as in the Quran, of course, in the Sunnah, the Prophet ﷺ confirmed that we must lower our gaze. And looking at such matters is, of course, looking into haram. You're looking into something that is haram, that is impermissible. So you are committing a sin, perhaps even sometimes it can be a grave sin, a very dangerous sin. And the Prophet wasallam, with regards to lowering your gaze, he said the sudden sight, which is unintentional, that you are excused from. You are not accountable. For example, if you saw something unintentional, you glimpsed, uh, for, for example, a woman or a, a haram scene or whatever, you glimpsed it unintentionally. That you are not accountable for. But anything after that, you look, then you are accountable for that and you are sinful. And then he says, no doubt about it, that porn or pornography, when somebody is watching it, they watch it in private. Nobody watches it in public. He says, why can't you do it in public? The Sheikh is asking, why can't you do it in public? It's because you are ashamed of the people. You don't want people to see you. Because it is a shameful act that you are watching pornography. He says, and this is a question that raises, is raised, is that, is Allah to you smaller than the people that you are not, not ashamed of Allah, but you are ashamed of the people to see you and judge you, but you are not ashamed of Allah in private that he is definitely seeing you. And so this is a, a very problematic thing. Also, he asks a question. The Sheikh says, do you guarantee your life? When are you going to die? How long are you going to live? These things are not guaranteed. You don't know. He says, the little baby in his mother's womb dies and the kid dies and the old man dies and the woman dies and the men die. Everybody have a time and they don't know what time they will die. People live maybe 20 years, maybe two years, maybe 50 years, 90 years. We don't know. So are you willing? Are you ready to face Allah with such a dirty and filthy act? The moment that you watch something, Five minutes later, maybe you die. Ten minutes. Maybe while you're doing it, you die. Are you willing? You're going to take that chance that you will face Allah in such an act? And would you accept it for your family members, your mother, your daughter, your sister, your auntie? Is that is that act, would you like it for them to be doing this or even in such a, in such a filthy, animalistic uh, scene? Uh, and no doubt, he says, this is a sin. We all know and understand that this is a sin. And sins, just like he said, he described it, they're a poisonous arrow of Iblis. It shoots you in the heart. And once it shoots you in the heart, the heart is, has a black dot, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the hadith, as the Shaykh said. So these dots are going to be 
marked on your heart. Every sin that you do, every time you watch pornography, every minute of every hour, these dots will cover your heart. Your heart can be gone and you can be blinded completely. So this is a, a dangerous thing. And acts, he said, acts are going to be heavy on you. Definitely. And this is natural. Tabi'i that your good deeds and your acts of worship and seeking knowledge are going to be something that is heavy now. You cannot do it. You cannot focus because uh, as we know, the, the iman, your belief goes up and down. It goes up by doing good deeds. It goes down by what? By doing bad deeds and sin. So if you're doing sin, you, you keep doing sin, your iman will just go keep going lower, 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 lower. And of course, when it, the iman goes low, what happens to you? Your good deeds become heavier on you. It becomes too heavy on you. You don't want to do it anymore. That's because of your, your low iman. And definitely these acts of uh, these sins are going to change you in yourself. You're going to lose confidence. You're going to hate yourself. You're going to feel like you are not worthy. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> why, one, of the, one of the things that you have to do is that you have to struggle and push it for the sake of Allah. And this is the jihad of the nafs. This is the struggle of the self, that you push it away just like Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam how he pushed away the offer that he was offered from the, the woman or the, the wife of, of Al-Aziz, the, the master there. And he pushed her away. And that was the jihad of the nafs. And then Allah has guided him, made him successful and victorious. And this is how Allah will make you victorious, by sacrificing for the sake of Allah. Yes, it's hard, but if you do it, Allah will guide you and open doors for you. <coughs> Naam.